Okay, so we are on DIY Land Rover Day. Um, I'm just doing another one of those little jobs on the Land Rover needs sorting out. Um, and we have a look here. What we've got here, we have got a loose mud guard or whatever you call it. And I've had a look and what's happened is, can you see these little holes here? One, two, and there's this, well, there's not one there, there's this bolt here. So what's happened is I've got some, let's have a look in the bag. Here we go. These are, I don't say what they are, I bought these years ago. These are little plug things that fit in there. Ooh, that fits quite nice. And then I think, if I remember rightly, what we use is a pot riveter to sort of pot rivet that to it. And so that goes on there, like that. Looks easier than it might be. Um, the first thing I need to do is get this bolt off because that's actually come off there. I don't know whether I can put, mm, I think that's probably had it. But I can plate that or anything, or I'll just get these two back on, it might be quite good. I think they're designed to come off anyway. If I get the two pot rivets in there, it might hold it, but I, I think I will take that off anyway. But I bet you that's all rusted on. Just put this down a minute and have a look. Uh, I've got underneath the Land Rover, I've got my torch from my phone. Can you see that? Let's just have a look. Don't know how much you can see on. Ah, there we go. There is a flipping little nut there. Look at that. Now that's going to be well corroded up, isn't it? I don't even know whether I'll be able to get that off there. I'll put a bit of easier on it and maybe a spanner, I don't know. I'm not convinced I can get that off there. Might have to stay. That's that done. Let's see how we go. Try ten mil. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to hacksaw that off. Okay, so this is a bit drastic, but I think I'm gonna hacksaw that bolt off because I can't see any other way of getting it. The other end's all seized up. Realistically it's just spinning round. So I could put the mole grips on it and try and saw it from the other side. This Put that down there. What could go wrong, he says. Okay, so there's the bolt hacksawed off. Look, you can see the nut. Pretty well. I wasn't going to get that off, I don't think. Uh, well. So, now the choice is what do I do now? I've got a hole here. I've also, got a hole in the. You can see there, that's not going to. I can't just bolt on there. I'm wondering whether I just put those. Oh, that's been knocked. It's all getting old, like me. I wonder if I just pop rivet those on with those rivet things and then maybe drill another hole and do something down here. Shouldn't be too difficult. More the fact the wheel's in the way. Oh, dilemmas. Right, well I could put a... Oh, there's not much I can do there. 
Right, let's put those, I think. Right, I'm gonna have a think before I do anything too radical. Once I put those rivets in, it's too, it's permanent. Um, I just wonder whether I can bolt with a clamp or something. Okay, thinking aloud, that's never good. Right, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've had a think, and I'm, I'm actually gonna drill a little hole above where the other hole was, because uh, I think I need to put a bolt in. Got my bolt here. Um, need to put a bolt in there, I think, because it, realistically what happens is this bit here, if it catches anything, if there's any of those plastic things, these aren't very strong, it's all gonna rip out. And I think the idea of the bolt was just to keep that solid and then these other bits just keep it in line there. So I do need another bolt hole. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to drill another one up above there because that's obviously ripped. It's like even ripped out there, look, even with a bolt. So I'll have to do it there. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do about there. So there, nice little mud there, look, in the way. Oh. I'm gonna have to do it up above because there's nothing to play with there. Let's do it down there. No, it's gonna have to be gonna be have to be where that dollar for poo is. This is when I'm a farmer, I don't care about poo, is it? Uh just there, X marks a spot. Okay. Bubbles on. Let's move that out of the way. That's a good start, isn't it? Oh. You can see I'm a trained professional. That would be a blooper, but I'm leaving that in because it's genuine. It's just me cocking up. Plenty of those. Right. Let's try again. Slightly bigger drill. Might not. Yeah, drilling into aluminium is not too difficult. Right, I wonder whether I should pop rivet those first. No. Okay, so I've done a little hole for the bolt. Not big enough. Need a bigger bolt hole. Right, okay. Just well, I've got another screwdriver, isn't it? Screwdriver? Drill, I mean, there you go. Big one. Let's hope that's the right size. So then we have two more. Let's have a look. That should be big enough now. Not quite. We'll round it out a bit. Might have to go and get another. There you go, that was alright. I'm gonna make that hole that much bigger in there because it'll could force its way through. And that should be okay. Yeah, that's alright, put a wash behind that. Okay. Right. Can get it back out now. I'm gonna leave it in there, I suppose. Okay. In a short time now, let's get these in one at a time. There you go, so that is just going to go in there. Can you see what I'm doing? I just think I can, I think you can. Let's just line it up with the holes, put those off. Don't get those in I need to put them in the holes, I think, before I put the... Oh, it's so fiddly. No, that's not going in there. I'm going the one down there, I think the holes... The hole's been ovaled. I need to make the hole a bit bigger. Oh, weird. I don't know what's happened there. No, I'm just going to drill the hole out a bit more. Not too much, because I don't want to mess it up. At least it's the top hole, so the bottom rivet will hold it still. I'm not sure what, why that won't fit. That's enough. So, it's sort of tapered in. There you go, that fits. Right. 
he says. Maybe I'll try a different one. Maybe I'll display that a bit too much. There you go, that's in. Right, let's get the pot riveter on there. It's a bit of a fiddle. Why isn't that working? Why isn't that working? That should work. Perhaps you're not meant to. Oh, perhaps you think. Oh, I didn't see you just snap off your fingers. Up. It's so long ago since I've done this, I've forgotten. You don't need to. Once these go in, that's it. Right, let's do the bottom one. There you go. Oh, oh hang on, maybe. Oh. I just thought. Maybe you're supposed to. Ah! Oh, I've messed those up. You're supposed to push that in. Oh. Poo. Right, well, that one will have to stay. I see, you put them in. Oh, how annoying. I could probably tap that in with that. Or not. Right, get a hammer on that. That's supposed to be pushed in. Right, maybe I can, the ones I snapped off, maybe I could push that in. Yeah. Okay, so I know what I'm doing now. So, the little spiky bit, you tap that in, that then stops those coming back out. That's a brilliant idea. I messed up with that one. So I've got one here. There it is. Which, put that back in there. I can still get the fit, I think. Get that in the bag for another day. Right, that's worth knowing. So we just got this bolt to put on. It's not lining up now, is it always? Oh. Let me just, hang on, let me just show you what I've done. So, can we see that? Got that one in there, that one in there, and I've just got this bolt to put there, which is now out of line. Of course it is, because I've put the ones in above. So I'm gonna have to drill the hole again. I'm gonna have to drill the hole again. You're gonna to have to drill the hole again, Rich. Do you know you're gonna to have to drill the hole again? I've got my proper tripod here. I've lost the stand bit, so I'm just using it. Right. It's gonna be too bad. Oh, come on. It's not lined up. I've messed up here, people. You're going to say the sensible thing, which is what I should have done, is put the bolt on before I did the rivets. And you're absolutely right. Because that would have meant that the rest was all lined up. This is one of these jobs, it's all going wrong. I've lost my goggle. Goggly things, not very good, am I? Right, that's got to be it this time. Got to be. Maybe. Oh. He's doing that. Yeah, it's going through. Okay, putting bolt on the other side. I might not bother the washer actually. Oh, there's a big load of mud in the way. It's disgusting. I think I need to get the socket set on it. Once I get the nut on the thread, it's not so bad. Oh. So you're looking at my face with a big spot on it appeared while I was away and uh, hasn't gone away yet. Here you go, I'm going, let's do that. Right, so let's see what size spanner that is and I'll be back. Okay, so I think that's a 13mm. Now I need something to hold it behind. 
and then I can put it on. Okay, 13mm spanner. Get these off. Right. I'm going to cheat in these mole grips, not the best thing, but it makes my life easier. Yeah, that's pretty good. I got that on there. Pretty solid. I'm really pleased with that. So, we got it repaired at last. So, there you go. DIY job, fairly straightforward. Ooh, so, okay, so that was, you know, not my finest hour there. I actually got there in the end, but I really didn't know what I was doing because lack of, of repetitive knowledge. I hadn't done that for a long time, but also I didn't check online or anything. I thought I'd wing it. So, interesting, all you had to do was push that lug in and those things splayed out and stopped popping out. So, there's me snapping them off thinking that was it, it wasn't the right thing to do. Secondly, I didn't really line up the holes on that drill thing where I drilled the hole very well. So, probably should have drilled that first before I put the, the rivet things in. Um, but, lesson learned. And, do you know what? Doesn't really matter, I've done the job. Probably delayed me 10 minutes. You saw my cock-ups, I don't mind that. And let's face it, we all learn from our mistakes, don't we? And if that's a big mistake, then God help us. Right, so I got all my tools out. Not too bad. Some spanners, electric drill, hacksaw. And it's on. It's on good and solid, look. They ain't coming off anytime soon. So, you know, that's another Richie DIY Lamb Rover job. Notice on this side of the Lamb Rover, it's done the same with the bolt, look. It's... It's loose. I might t tackle that one as well because realistically what happens it'll do what it did. Oh look, those rivet things have gone there look. So they need replacing. So I will do that this afternoon. I'm not going to film that bit but basically I know what to do now. The rivets need to go in there. Quite a few by looks, otherwise you're going to lose this bit here. It's clever, clever though because this bit pulls off. So it saves any damage on the vehicle but at the same time you've got a mud guard. If that was steel that would be damaged a long time ago. So it needs a new bolt there. Need some new rivets there. Right, okay. 